there's a lot of things that scout players hate. The Natasha. The outdoors. Women. But there's one thing that has gotten shit since the day of it being added to TF2. The Mini Sentry. Since 2010, scout players have hated this thing. Some saying it even needs to be banned in competitive or nerfed full stop. And you think that, you know, as a scout main myself, who is a slave to the meta, who is a smelly tryhard and who says scout weird, you think I'd agree. I do not. Not at all. This is my defense of the mini sentry. There are three main reasons why the Mini Sentry is hated so much by scout players. The spamming potential, the size of the Sentry, and the engineer who builds them. I'm going to start with the spammability of the Sentries and the engineer who built them, because they kind of go hand in hand. Equipping the Gunslinger as Engineer replaces your normal sentries with the mini sentries and bumps your health up from 125 to 150. I think everybody knows this. The mini sentry starts at 50 health instead of the usual zero when it's building and builds all the way up to 100 health compared to the 150 of a normal level 1 sentry gun. But here's the problem. The mini sentry only needs 100 metal to build. This means that fresh out of spawn, Engineer can afford to place down two sentries one after another. And this is what pisses people off. The fact that you've just taken down one gun and the NG throws up another. It can make NG infuriating to fight. But here's what I've never understood. When you kill an Engineer who set up a normal sentry nest, you know, a level 3 dispenser, teleporters, all that, you don't just let the engineer live after you've wrecked his shit. You kill him. But this doesn't compute for a lot of scout players, because once that first sentry gun's down, the engineer 90% of the time is going to place down a second sentry gun, which for whatever reason draws scouts to it like a Funko Pop attracts middle-aged men. Holy shit, is that a fucking Kurt Cobain Funko Pop? This is when you, as a scout player, you have to rewire your brain to not shoot sentries first. A lot of the time, it's force of habit to shoot a sentry down first. I mean, why would you not? It's an auto-tracking turret. But in the case of the Mini, it takes one and a half seconds to fully deploy, which is a lot of time when it comes to a 1v1 in TF2. Not only that, but if you're at full health, you can last around 2-3 to three seconds while getting shot by a mini sentry. And again, 2-3 to three seconds sounds like nothing, but in a fight, that's time for an extra 3, maybe 4 shots to be put into an enemy. As well as that, which would you rather kill? A non-moving sentry gun that does roughly 44 damage per second, or a moving engineer who can do 60 damage or more every half second? Even if you can get the NG to sit the fuck down, but you die trying, that's better than nothing, because if you would just kill the sentry, guess what's gonna happen? If you kill the engineer and die afterwards, odds are the sentry gun will follow shortly. Now I'm not saying always going for a sacrifice kill on an engineer, try to stay alive if you can. But if it happens it's not the worst thing in the world. But what do you do if you can see an engineer with a mini but you can't approach because you'll get shot, you won't have the health that you need to take him on. May I introduce to you a friend called... The Pistol. The pistol is the closest thing Scout has to a sniper rifle in this game, and reading that out loud that sounds really stupid but bear with me. The first shot always has 100% accuracy. 
If you use this or just spam down a sentry gun, it forces the engineer to do one of three things. One, repair his mini, which uses up metal and once the gun eventually goes down, he doesn't have enough metal for a second mini and you're free to approach him. Two, let his mini go down, create a second one, and once that one goes down, he doesn't have enough for another mini, you're free to approach him. Three, leave his mini sentry's range to go fight you off, or at least pester you away, which is the best option because you've just actively brought him away from his sentry's range. Now, I already hear the complaints that the engineer can just sit near a dispenser and keep healing his sentry. But that's not a flaw of the mini sentry, that's a flaw with the class, because you can apply that to normal sentries, and it would be 10 times as worse, that's just an NG turtling. Turtle. In this scenario, you're going to have to do the unthinkable. Walk away. I know, I know, it's blasphemous, I should be fucking hung from the gallows. But a lot of TF2 players had this idea that running away isn't an option that you need to take every single fight you get into, which is really stupid. In the same way you wouldn't expect a spy to fight six pyros, you wouldn't expect a scout to fight a turtling NG. This is just one of those things that you have to let your team deal with. Now, as for the size of the sentry, does it really matter? It's re it's not even that small, it's not, it's average size, okay, look, it, it the videos you see, the problem with the size of it is that it's so small it can be hidden in props on the map, like bushes or stuff like that, which kind of makes them impossible to spot at a first glance. But this really doesn't make any sense because you get shot from unexpected directions all the time in TF2, this shouldn't be any different than that. You can easily tell where you're getting shot from because one, there's a visible damage indicator on the screen, and two, you have ears. Well, I hope. Here, let me test it. <gasps> I think this is just a nitpicky point, honestly, because even if you die to one of these funny sentries, it's not like it's gonna happen a second time. It's a one-trick pony. This point is probably just brought up to expand the point that mini sentries are overpowered which i've hopefully convinced you it's just not true i didn't think this was still a popular opinion but looking around on youtube shows that it's still quite prevalent and i know that a lot of you's you just think that they're annoying which is perfectly reasonable i have things that just make me irrationally annoyed every time i turn on bbc one i go into a screaming fit you probably find it annoying and i can't say i don't find them annoying sometimes as well but I think a lot of you can realize that this option is necessary for Scout's balance. He did need something to easier limit his mobility. He is one of three of the strongest classes in the game. However, there are a group of people who don't care about game balance and just want things removed because they affect or annoy their main, which I hate. It hinders balance discussion and it's being promoted quite frequently by certain YouTubers, which just really pisses me off. There are some items that, yes, are broken and they need a nerf, but next time you look at the mini, just remember these steps. And maybe it might not be so bad fighting it. So go out there and make an NG uninstall his game.